السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is October 23rd 2016 Sometimes somewhere The reason I am making this video It is because I want to document personal history and the idea is to correspond or connect it with the life events that took place in the last 34 years or more than that almost 38 years um, I want to use first, because this is what is in my mind now, uh, Ford Company and Ford Motor Credit Company, uh, because this is why I am where I am at, and I'm talking about all aspects of life. Socially, financially, and uh, otherwise, everything. Started working for for the dealer dealerships around 1990. It's not recording. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's start again. Start working for for the dealerships around 1990. Uh, the first dealership I worked at was Duncott Ford in Carson, uh, LA County. It's no longer in business. Um, out of business. In fact, uh, Mr. Cut has passed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his soul. He was a good man. And uh, since that time, uh, you work for Ford Company because Ford dealerships are just a dealership. They, uh, you know, they sell the merchandise, they sell Ford products, and uh, we are working for Ford, selling their products. Having that you work for different stores or dealerships, but it, it actually you are working for Ford the company. Why? Because they have your social security, you got to get certified. Uh, you get to go through all, you know, the promotions and uh, training and so on and so forth. So, in fact, uh, medical care and so, Medicare, yeah, medical care and so on, insurance, medical insurance, was also, it's supposed to be by the dealership, but it, you're working for Ford. You're working for Ford, the company, and Ford Motor Credit, because you are an employee and uh, you pay your federal taxes according to where you work okay that's just let's make it clear here so when you have any problems or you're retired or or, or you get uh, disabled for some reason uh, ford company is the one that's supposed to take care of everything um, Well, it's not recording, so let's go back to now. <clears throat> dealerships, the you know, they just don't want to tell you that because the embezzling the money, as well as what the state does, they deny you your social security, 
disability or any federal programs because they say, oh, well, you know, we have to uh, find, send you to our doctor and get a signature that you are, and then the, the, their doctors, you know, they, they are working for the state, uh, they will never, <laughs> you have to pay, you have to pay, you have to be corrupted, you have to, or have the connection and, uh, you know, and, uh, go through the process, go through, uh, you know, the fraud process. So you would be selected as one of them, the owners, you know, the criminals, or you are one of the vast majority that they are in indoctrinating and brainwashing and committing the crime against them and placing them in the system keeping them in the status quo as revolving accounts so they can continue to commit the crimes. And the state and the federal government is the one that helping them because they have no other choice because they are owned by the Zionist international terrorist organization that it's hijacked the United States of America, the Federal Reserve and the government the, they put the politicians there, all the, you know, the election process and the presidency and the nomination and uh, the lobbyists and all of that is all a fraud and crimes against everyone and everything. And they thought that they will be victorious. They thought that they will somehow uh, you know, uh, continue to commit these crimes and get away with it without any uh, resistance or what have you. We forgot about Ummati Muhammad. We forgot about Ummati Muhammad. And that's their, you know, their, their fault. <laughs> Should have had pay attention and uh, learn. Learn. Anyway, so. All of what has been going on, and it's not only for Mohammed Shaban, because I'm not advocating for Mohammed Shaban or his family. I am bringing it to the attention because all of these are heinous crimes against the humanity. And we have the obligation as Ummati Muhammad to stand up and bring it to the attention and try to change the status quo by empowering and sharing the information and exposing the criminals as they are. They are criminals. They're committing crimes against everyone and declaring war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. And if any, any one don't understand that concept, okay? Don't understand the concept and the uh, circumcise and, you know, uh, negotiate and uh, interface and uh, moderate Muslims and uh, hiding behind and snitching and, you know, throwing each other under the bus so they can get their liquor store license or what. Or they can uh, participate in the drug dealing and the crimes against everyone and everything and be left alone so they won't be tagged or uh, labeled as uh, terrorist or Al Qaeda or ISIS or what have you then you know you're on your own buddy you're on your own don't don't sell our deen and don't don't make a mockery of our deen and the United States of America Constitution, if this is the highest law that they go by, all right? So this is what has been going on, and I just want to bring it to the attention. Where, where is our money? Where are our rights? Where are the restitutions for all the crimes that has been committed since the fall of the Islamic Ummah, Islamic State, Ummati Muhammad, where, where, who's taking responsibility? The United States of America think that they are the, you know, the police of the whole globe and going, uh, you know, uh, whatever, 
So we need to, uh, to bring it to the attention and we need answers. We need answers as soon as possible. That's all. I'm just, you know, following your process. Following your process. Now, intimidations and crimes is not going to detail us because we are you Muhammad again. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh, just to, to summarize it and bring it to the attention about the main theme Ford Motor Credit regardless of who dealership I work for uh, that's where my social security was paid that's where I work in the last almost 20 yeah 25 years uh, since you know it stopped working I'm still you know so 401k retirement disability and of course the social security that's disability that's different that has to be all counted for not for Muhammad Shaban only for millions of others that they've been done wrong by corporate America and the Zionist International Terrorist Organization. Now, this is here in the United States of America. Now, we wanted answers for what happened in Quds Sharif, what happened everywhere. Well, crimes been committed against the humanity because of the absence of our Khilafa, our Sharia, Dinullah, Dinullah answers and you know where we are at you know where we are at Muhammad Shibon for an Institute of Southland American Muslims Inc our address right now which is home and office okay physical and uh, mailing it is 1959 North Macy Street San Bernardino, California, nine two four one one. Mackey Masjid. Make a note of it. This is for the state of California Board of Equalization, and for the federal government to the five o one C three. Make no mistake. We followed everything by the teeth, and you, we, uh, we honor our our deal. The end of our deal. You have to honor yours. You have to honor yours. Awfu bil Learn. Got it? Waiting for an answer. Waiting for, uh, you know, sharpen up your pencils. And uh, start to somewhere. That's it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon the humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.